Ahoy everyone, and welcome to Wolfenstein 3D. This was yet another game on the uh, DOS PC that I had when I was a kid. So it's made by the famous id software. Uh, in my opinion, the greatest gaming uh, development team to ever exist. So this is the first person, one of the, one of the first person shooters, not the first, but one of the first, pr perhaps one of the most famous. Um, and it's, wait, what? Shouldn't be a demo. I have the full game. Um, yeah, so, um, this was probably one of the, the games that cemented, uh, the first person shooter and, not only uh, put PC gaming uh, on the map, but also push the the industry forward so much. Uh, so yeah, this is the demo. I got all episodes. Sweet. So I'm just going to play the first episode. Uh, I'm gonna, I always go the second one. Uh, I'm a bit wimpy. I know that, but yeah, I don't know. This game can get a bit hectic. So directionals, uh, directional keys, a walk, spacebar is to open doors, and I'm assuming control is to shoot people. Now I've played this many, 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 many. That's ammo. Bum bum up. That's health. Food is health. It also comes in the form of dog food. Or when I was a kid, I thought it was a bowl of worms. Um, but I guess when you're a prisoner in a, a Nazi, uh, fortress, because this is what it is, it's a, it's a fortress, um, you just take whatever you can get, so, we're just gonna go ahead, there's a guy behind this door, I can tell you that much now. Okay, there's one of my comrades, fortunately he didn't make it, more food, okay, here we go, ready? See, I was wrong. I'm picking up the second one. Okay, I know for a fact there's a guy in either that one or that one. I'm just gonna take a guess here. Now, when I was a kid... Oh, here, I'll show you a trick. Secret passage. See, I'm smart. Machine gun. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Bit of diehard there for you. There is a run button, but I forget what it is. I think it might be tab. Hold on. Uh, I remember finding it um, the last playthrough I had of this a, f uh, a few years ago. Oh, one shot. See that? You shut the door, and then the people that heard the gunshot, they come and um, open the door. So... Now, this came before Doom, and I know Doom is like the, one of the biggest games I've made, and I like Doom, I love Doom, don't get me wrong, but I much prefer Wolfenstein 3D. Where's this guy? There he is. He was nearly coming, he was coming, he was just around the phone. So, yeah, I, I much prefer Wolfenstein 3D to Doom. That might be an unpopular opinion, but I really don't care. I just... I mean, maybe I'm biased because I never had Doom when, as a kid, I only had Wolfenstein 3D. Um, but... I don't know, it's just... I, I, I will say that the the level design of Doom is a lot more appealing. Like, you get, you get a lot of, like... Like, this, this wall repeats so much in the game, and a as you go on in, you know, in Wolfenstein 3D, you get to areas like this, and it's just a maze, and you're just looking at the same wall like this, and it's just, it's nauseating sometimes. So, I, I will give Doom one thing, is that they uh, have better le level design. Um, I, I, I kind of prefer the, the little avatar... Uh, down here, Wolfenstein's avatar. Doom's is alright, but I don't know, he's like, he doesn't have his neck and everything. Oh, don't call Peter. Oh, 
or the RSPCA, whoever you want to call on me. Look, see, there's the ball of worms. I can't eat it. <laughs> it's dog food, but I call it worm. Now, the funny thing is the door won't close because the dog's in the doorway. See, I can't even close the door. So, it's a bit of a glitch. Um... I just, I just really love this game. Um, I always have. I've played it so many times. Um, yeah, it was just a. Oh. So I just like to tap that. I just like to the tap, tap. Ready? Now these are just points. I guess I'll go for that high score, you know? <laughs> I'll, I'll make it on the leaderboards, you know, and become world famous. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Oh, that's a controversial symbol. Ah! Now, I know for a fact that this symbol uh, is removed in a lot of versions. I, I, I think it's definitely in the German, German release. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of versions have removed the symbol. And obviously this would be definitely gone. <laughs> I wonder what they would have replaced that with. Okay. Now, just to sum up how uh, bad my family computer was, uh, we didn't have all these cool sound effects. Like, there was definitely no background music. It was silent, I know that for a fact. And the sound effects weren't as, uh, they were more like, meow. So when I opened the door, it was like, meow. Instead of that, that lock, that unlocking sound. Oh, sure. Someone's here. Uh, see, watch, they're gonna come out the door. Ready? That only gave me 10%. Oh, someone's behind me. He was a good shot from there, he only had a pistol. So, the, the goal of the each level is to get to the elevator. There we go, so I just completed that level. Now, I don't know if there's something wrong, but... I remember him breathing uh, in that picture on the left where he's holding the gun. I remember him, like, you know, it was just an a, a, like a looping animation of him breathing. I don't know why that's not happening. <laughs> Maybe my DOS uh, PC was superior in the, at that point. So I know for a fact there's a guy behind here. Yeah, he's got his back to you. There you are. There's no silence or anything like this in this game, so... Not the doggy! I just... It's so satisfying, the sound of that machine. Bowl of worms. Ugh, yuckies. Bowl of worms. Now that door's not going to close, so I can just freely just live here if I want. Have a bit of water, look in this bowl. Because it's just not going to happen. Okay. Don't know if that... Oh yeah, it's in the doorway. Let's see, yeah. As, as I was saying... Oh, what'd that do? Oh, damn, he took a bit of health. As I'll say... Anyone? As I was saying, id Software, uh, in my opinion, are the, like, they've done the most for the, the gaming industry. 
Like, and if you think, oh, you know, they've just created Wolfenstein Doom. I mean, they've been responsible for so many games. Um, because they, they started with Apogee. Before becoming their own thing, so... So yeah, they've, they've, done, they've done quite a bit. You know, if you've ever, you know, looked up their history, you know, they all, they all split up, you know, one by one, they all left the team. Uh, Tom Hall was first, and I think uh, Adrian Carmack, and then obviously John Romero left. And, you know, the thing is, like, you know, everything happens for a reason, whatever, you know, they made their choices, that's their choices. It obviously was the best thing for each of them to leave, or, you know, the most beneficial thing. But I can't help but think... Oh. ...where they would be if they had a stuff to play. Like... Because they they made some masterpiece games. Like... <laughs> no one can... no one can deny that. No one can disagree with that. They made masterpieces. You know? And I just think to myself, you know, imagine if they stayed together, where, where, where would they be right now? And, you know, just in my opinion, because this is all speculation, you know, I think maybe they'd probably be one of the biggest, you know, game developers in the world, if not the biggest. Because they, they you know, um, John Carmen. He just, he was, you know, crazy good at, you know, coding games and programming games and everything. And John Romero was, you know, this sort of rock star. He was like the face of the company. He was, you know, he had long hair and he was this, you know, crazy guy with all these crazy ideas. And, you know, and all of them, all of them, they, they all, they were, they were like the Beatles. Like, each of them was important in their own way. You know, and they all contributed equally. Um, so yeah. I, I, I can't sing their praises enough. Oh, sugar! Where did he come from? So yeah, like if if you if you need me to tell you who I feel is the has, is the best contributor, you know, the most important uh, game dev in history, it would definitely be id Software for my money. Um, I think I think they've. Uh, they've done the most for the industry. I mean, before they came along, the the PC, the personal computer, gaming-wise, was you know it, it had a lot of good games before id Software came along. But don't get me wrong, but it just it it wasn't um, on par with consoles like the the, the Nintendo uh, Entertainment System. It you know, it was the biggest thing, like, Mario was the biggest thing, and, you know, PCs were just this, this thing, that, you know, this sort of, it, it wasn't really meant for gaming, like, it, it had games, but it was more of like a, a work tool, and it, a work tool first, and then gaming second, that's, that's what it was, basically. And then id Software come along, and they, they basically, they popularized the the side scrolling uh, the side scrolling game which was apparently impossible up that up to that point so, and they did it so yeah i i, I can't sing their praises enough as i said I, I i really do believe they've done a lot of good uh, more good than bad like Let's not forget, you know, Dai Katana <laughs> and uh, John Romero making us this bitch. Um, but look, you know, John Romero did enough good. Oh, that was a headshot. John Romero's done enough good that I think he's earned at least, you know, at least three or four Dai Katanas before we give up on him, you know? Like, yeah, he's, he's done a lot of good for the game industry. 
And for each fan, it's like, look, you know, everyone makes mistakes. Not a katana was a bit of a mistake, but, you know, whatever. Dude made Doom. Dude made Wolfenstein. Okay. What's one bad game here and there? Now, these dudes have machine guns. <laughs> Sorry, I've, this whole stream I've been talking about um, id software. Uh, and I'm not talking about the game, so sorry to bore you with that history lesson, whether you want it or not. So yeah, the blue dudes have machine guns, um, these dudes have pistols. There's dudes later on that have stronger pistols, like I think they're revolvers or something. Or at least I think they're just, you know, they have this, the, the health of the blue dude with the pistol of the, uh, Ah, that noise is so... Ah, so satisfying. The, the sound effects in this are just so good. Like, we're talking about a game here that, you know, is almost as old as me. Yet the sound effects are just so satisfying. The music's a bit... Uh, the music's okay. It kind of reminds me of, like, a, I don't know, a depressing version of Hogan's Heroes. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, yeah. Oh, there you go, I got them all. At this point, I'm just running around getting treasures. I don't know why. There was a hidden passage in this level somewhere, but you know what? I just. So, <laughs> the thing I love about this game, I think, um, which I didn't realise as a kid because I believe we only had the demo, which only gave you the, uh, I was lucky, I didn't even know that was there. <laughs> I just took a stab in the dark. Um, yeah, the, the thing I love about this game that I learned later on uh, is that... Like, on the surface, like, you're just a dude going and killing them. It's just like, yeah, like, that's... You know, it's pretty straightforward, but... You play the game a bit more, and it it, del it delves into the occult. So... You're not just killing Nazis, you're killing, like, monsters. <laughs> and then you're killing, like... Like, Hitler... You gotta kill Hitler multiple times. Uh, the first form he's in like a giant mech suit, but then he uh, he appears as a like as a mage, like as a wizard kind of thing. So now I've obviously gone that room so because I had dead bodies in there. So why didn't those other guys chase me? So yeah, like I mean, on the surface, this is basically, you know, oh, it's you know, it's a game where you, you kill Nazis. But as I said, like as you go on, it starts to, you know, there's monsters in it and giant mechs. So it's very, very much, um, very unique on in that sense. And I am lost. Now that's uh, a very common thing to say in Wolfenstein 3D, is I am lost. Help me, I don't know where I am, is another one. Now as far as I know, there's... Uh, the, the way you gotta go is never... Like, it's never obscured behind a hidden passageway or anything like that. As far as I know. 
unless I am incorrect, which I am very, very often am I incorrect. Okay. This way. So yeah, there's, um, there's three enemies in this game. There's the, this one here, I just killed the helmet guy, the standard guard. There's the blue guard with the machine gun, and then there's the one I was uh, talking about before, which is the... He's basically the blue dude, but he's wearing white. And he has a pistol. And as I said, I think he's basically just... He's a dude with a pistol, but he's got the health of the machine gun guy. See, these machine gun guys take a bit more... They take a bit more damage to put down. Not much damage, but just a bit, you know. Now, I believe this is the entrance to the, uh... To the elevator room. Oh, sugar, 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 sugar! Bugger! Shot me in the balls. Ah. Oh. Yep, and there's, there's no save in this game. So it's just straight back to the start. <laughs> that noise is so satisfying. <laughs> that pistol sounds satisfying too. I didn't even hit him. <laughs> I must have aimbot on. Uh... See, I'm not even. <laughs> it's okay. I have heat seeking uh, pores. There's, uh, there's no scam on there. I spent so many, so many hours on this game. But that's the thing, like, I mean, these days there's games up the wazoo, but, you know, back in, back in the days of the old DOS, there wasn't, you know, there wasn't a billion games. There was a lot of games, I'm sure there was a lot of games. But there wasn't as many. Like, obviously these days there's, you know, 10 trillion. As opposed to maybe back in the DOS days there was... 1 million? If that. And I mean, that's the thing, like, these days people, they play games to win money and they play games to stream and like what I'm doing I'm uploading it to YouTube but like back then you played a game because that was entertainment you know me and my siblings would you know create around if not a you know one of our consoles it would create around this PC and we'd you know play these games together so it was it was entertainment it was our entertainment you know, this was back before, you know, Wi-Fi and H high, high definition TV and all that jazz. So, this was what we had. Poopy. Oh, he's dead. So, so uh, what I remember most about my, well, our family... DOS PC was um, that the screen for it was it was a black screen with green text and it had like a list so it had numbers 1 to 6 or 1 to 12 or whatever whatever it was and you'd input like so Number one would be Wolfenstein 3D, and number six would be Commander Keen, which is a game I'm going to get to soon. And you obviously, you know, hit the number that you wanted to, which game you wanted to play. And then it would obviously load up and. Start playing and Bob's your uncle. Um. And 
There were certain games we had there, like DuckTales, um, Monkey Island. Monkey Island. Um, like, so basic, yeah, well, let's just say those two first. We had like a bunch of games, Duck, Duck, for example, DuckTales and Monkey Island, and they were a set of floppy disks, and <laughs> they were, so it was, you know, Monkey Island, uh, disk, disk one, disk 1 through to disk 12 so you'd insert disk 1 and then you'd like <laughs> reach the next screen and it'd be like insert disk, t disk 2 or insert disk 8 so it, it was a bit of work to play a game you know back in those days if you weren't lucky enough to have it loaded onto your computer um, You were, you know, constantly. You were constantly swapping out this, which let me tell you, it wasn't very fun. <laughs> I remember when I uh, got a bit older, I tried to play a Ghostbusters game that was on, that was originally on floppy disk, and like I'm talking like Wi-Fi days, like it was, it was maybe like five years ago or something that I tried to play this, um, and literally like I'd, like I'd reach, the, you know, a different screen and, and Peter Vinkman would come up and be like, I think another disc is needed, I'm thinking disc four, okay, <laughs> so, so yeah, it was very, um, very tedious, very, very tedious. I'm trying to remember where I left that, where that door was. The, uh, the secret door. So, because I'd like to go into it. I, I really need it right now. Oh, sugar. Let's see if I can make it. Let's see if I can actually beat this level this time. Okay, why didn't he pick up that ammo? All the health, that's what I need. Oh, come. So, yeah. So, there's the key to the uh, elevator room. That same guy tried to kill me, but it's not going to happen this time. And there we go. Second level done. As I said, I swear, like, that dude on the left used to breathe in and out, and he, you know, it was just an animation of where his body would raise up and down. I remember that. I do. So, <sighs> it's not Mandela Effect. I know for a fact that that's how it was. Oh, sugar. Um, so yeah, look. The DOS was just a really fun system. Like, I've had a lot of consoles in my time. Uh, but ultimately, at the end of the day, my, I, my heart's always going to be in PC. Like, I've, had, I've been a Sega man, I've been a Nintendo man, I've been an Xbox man, a PlayStation man. I've done all the generations. Like, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, sitting here, you know, well, back in my day, you know, but, like, I've done, done it all, you know, done all the generations of consoles. 
you know, one thing's remained and always constant is PC gaming. I mean, with, oh sugar, <laughs> it was just waiting for me around the corner. <laughs> I mean, like console gaming, you know, in my opinion, it's getting a lot more limited. Like, I, 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 don't get me started on Xbox One when it was announced and it said how you know, you can share games and all that jazz. Wow, what a blunder that was. Oh, that's just greed. That that is just called greed. I'm sorry to get greedy. Like, but PCs, like, look, the gaming, the games have got you know, better, the graphics have got better, the variety has got better, the systems have got more expensive, the graphic, you know, the graphics cards have, you know, got more expensive, but ultimately at the end of the day, if you think about it, like, the, it's still the same, like, you can still, you know, look, look at this. I'm playing Wolfenstein on a flat screen TV on my you know, HD graphics card. Like, I can still play Wolfenstein. Like, you can't pick up a, you know, a Nintendo today and play every single Nintendo game ever released in the history of the world. Like, you can play whatever, you know, they say you can play. Like, what they've made available in their store. But you can't play every single Nintendo game from Nintendo to Super Nintendo to GameCube to you know all that jazz, you can't. It's, it's impossible unless you cheat, which I'm not against. But you know that's the only way. There's something in this door. Imagine that you shoot someone to death, he just laughs at you. <laughs> um, but yeah, PC gaming like you know I can pick. A pick up a PC and play any PC game that has ever been released. I can either, you know, buy the games on the, the various, you know, s platforms like Steam and all that jazz, or I can, you know, use a emulator to play a ROM. Like, there's just, there's many options. Like, that's the thing, that's... Like, it just, it, it's not like, you know, a PC comes out every year and they're like, oh, by the way, um, you can't play Wolfenstein 3D on this anymore. You can only, uh, you can only play Doom. Like, that's, that's, that's kind of what I love about PC, is it, it's, like, it may change in appearance, in function, you know, it might, may improve in many, many areas, but it, it's still the same, the same system, basically. It's the same setup. A room full of knights. Imagine if they all came alive. That'd be a really cool thing. Just to take down a bunch of, you know, suits of armor. I'd be down for that. Kibble! Wait, kibble? Kibble or cat food? What can it be a dog food to? I think I may, I think I'm not. Mm. I used to know all the secret passages, now I don't. Not too old. Not a wide open empty room. nothing in here but gold. I don't want no gold. I just want to get out of here. Ah, so yeah, sorry to bore you with my uh, rants about PCs, but um, yeah, this game just, you know, triggers those, those thoughts in my head. Those, uh, those memories, those opinions, those ideas, whatever you want to call them. So 
let's get back to talking about the game. Here's a well full of water. <laughs> um, yeah, I, did I go this way? I did. Did I go this way? I did not. Where's the other guy? There he is. Look at this poor guy. Kind of reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean. This game can be a little bit confusing. I'm not gonna lie. Dead. Dead. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I'm keep going this way, maybe. Bear with me for a minute, I am lost in the Nazi castle. <laughs> ah, sugar, sugar. Maybe? Hello? This way? This obviously isn't the way I'm meant to go, I'm just looking for a spare. Because I just wasted a, like, a clip on that dude. I went all predator and shot down the forest. <laughs> yeah, that's a classic movie. Did I go this way? Yes, I did. Okay, let's just keep running around in circles until we find something. I assume that's the other side of it, yeah. I, hold on. Let me go back to where that blue door was, maybe? No, okay. Let me find that blue door. Because, um... This way, maybe? No. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I'm back at the start. Alright. Um, let's go from here. Alright, definitely. This way. Definitely not that door. So I'm not sure if it's, it's in here. Alright. I want to... Maybe uh, get inside here. Sometimes they're nice to you, they just let you open the door, but other times they're just like, you need a key. Okay, I'm sure I haven't gone this way. I'm sure I haven't. Okay, I probably have. <laughs> oh, is there a key in one of these rooms? I, I swear I remember a key being in one of these, uh... here 
or something. I'd be very remiss if I didn't check by those doors. So that'd be a no. Okay. We we can do this. So, please work. <laughs> um, just run around circles. So you go, you eventually go mad <laughs> playing this game. Obviously somewhere I haven't been that has the key. Wish I could run. As I said, there is a run, I just can't run. So that's that way, alright. Uh, that's that way as well, in the beginning <laughs> Stop yelling at me! Ah. <laughs> um, I think I'll try to beat this level and then maybe call it quits because I've spent far too long on this level. <sighs> there is a... I don't remember it being this hard. Let me just say that much. I know there is an old trick where you just hug one wall and uh, just uh, push push into that wall and just keep uh, going, following that wall around until you get to where you want to go. What the hell? Why did it turn me around? Give it another, another, another round. Uh, can't do it. I'll just call it quits because it's obviously not fun watching me run around like a chicken with my head cut off. Man, I, I am not usually this bad. This early on. Okay. Should we just get frustrated? It's the well, so I think we're gonna go this way. Yeah, this way. This way. Like there's just so many doors and they all look the same. <laughs> Let me out, I'm starving! That's the door. That's where we gotta be. 
I however need the key. It's definitely it's not that way. I swear it's not that way. That's gonna take us back. Yes, it's this way. That's me leaning on the space bar. something come on we're gonna be like that for I didn't know. I think I broke it. I think I broke the game. So that's... That takes us back out though. That's that way. That's that way. Serious? Oh, there's nothing good in here anyway. It's all just gold. Are you serious? I got excited then. I thought I thought I just bet the game. Of course not. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna give it another another pass through. I can't do it. I can't do it. And then I quit. Because if something's too hard, it's not worth doing. Famous words. I swear, I don't remember it being this hard. I really don't. It's definitely not me. Did I go all the way to the end here? Are you serious? Are you sneerious? Oh, wow. That sucks. I don't remember that. Don't think this is the way, but... Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah! Oh, sugar! That kid. That's the first enemy I've seen in like an hour. Oh. oh, gold on health! Uh, I don't want to get turned around again. It's gonna make me sad. Ah, oh, dearie me. That was. <laughs> that was just brutal. I apologize. I'm I'm usually a bit better at this game. I know I say that a lot, but it, it used to be true. <laughs> uh, I think I'll play till I die. Boom, 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 boom. Now I'm not deliberately trying to die. Either. It just took me an hour to turn around, that's why that guy. So I'm not gonna pick up health. Uh I I I'll just try to do my life, go as far as I can. Because as I said, I did waste a lot of time on that last level, which was just embarrassing for someone who talks so highly of id and uh DOS DOS computers and PCs in general. That that was just really that was bad, I apologize. Oh sugar, sugar, sugar. Oh, oh. No, no. Ah, oh, sugar honey iced tea. 
Well, I think that's about it. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's Wolfenstein 3D on the uh, DOS PC. As I said, I, I, I prefer this over Doom. I, I think Doom has a better uh, level layout, level design, but overall, I, uh, as I said, I'm probably biased, but I much prefer Wolfenstein 3D. So... I didn't show you the knife. It's pretty wimpy. Oh, it's got a noise. Uh, it never had a noise when I played it. Ow. Get here, so that I may brain thee. Well, killing someone with just a knife. Uh, I, I believe there are um, knife-only playthroughs. Oh, sugar! He can kill those big dudes with a machine gun. I'm gonna give myself the best chance here to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's that's about it. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, very good game, very fun. Uh, it's a classic. It still holds up today, I think. Uh, as long as you don't get lost like I did. Uh, as as I said, this uh, Doom is superior in the fact that you know the levels look a lot better. Like staring at this, you know, for hours can, as I said, gets nauseous, na nauseating. And it's very easy to get lost and confused. So, overall, though, very good game. Uh, id Software are geniuses, masters at their craft, and I can't praise them enough. So, if you haven't played this, uh, you can pick it up on GOG. Uh, yeah, GOG.com, uh, which stands for Good Old Games, if you aren't aware. <laughs> so, it's uh, basically like Steam. It's you know just sort of a Lex Luthor to the Superman that is Steam. Or reverse, if you see Steam as, you know, Lex Luthor, then Gog is definitely Superman. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there, um, and until next time... <laughs>